Sorry for the change in um, scenery, decorum, lighting, pretty much everything. Um, the, just a long story short, if you didn't catch the first video of the day, uh, my regular computer shit the bed. So for the time being, until I get um, proper parts and proper CPU, it looks like great. It couldn't be the least expensive. It had to be the most expensive component for the fucking computer to calf. But until then i'm in an office on an older computer and yeah i just got a fucking what do we got back here we just got a i don't know if you can see that no all you can see is just the old school fuck you got a bunch of old people fucking figurines behind me in a closet door cool well, hopefully the acoustics are fine haven't quite listened to everything back yet but the lighting's fairly harsh but um yeah hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully you're just listening to this maybe but we don't really have a whole bunch of new information about really anything over the weekend. Everybody was just kind of taking the time off, so we're just going to kind of do a little bit of a recap here and see what the elites are floating out here because uh, these are the things that they aren't going to tell you for the time being five dirty seat. No, I'm not going to do that kind of goofy shit. But this is just more information out there as to um, Omicron being, well, the mildest motherfucker and probably the tail end of this pandemic, okay? CDC halves quarantine to five days for everyone who contra or contracts COVID to keep society functioning. Is it really for that? Okay, because you guys haven't, um, the CDC this is and the different bureaucracies that are out there haven't really shown that you're really too terribly keen about looking to society or looking to the economy to continue to function. So maybe you just have to finally admit Omicron really isn't as bad as you really were hoping for. Sucks to suck. As the Omicron variant drives positive cases to 200,000 a day across the world. But how many hospitalizations? How many deaths? Yeah, those figures are through the floor at this point. The highest seven-day average seen since January. <gasps> oh my god. But okay, cool. If cases are skyrocketing... Why are you really? And this is the CDC after all. They would have everybody wrapped up in fucking bubble wrap if they had the opportunity to. You know, why do they all of a sudden start care about the economy? Yeah, maybe because they don't really care about their shit anymore. They're kind of done with it. And this is just one way to just say, yeah, um, this whole quarantine thing. Mm, yeah, mm, I don't really know. So... If we, maybe if we just walk back some of our precautions, maybe people still take us seriously. Hopefully that'll work. U.S. health officials on Monday cut isolation restrictions from Amer oh for Americans who catch coronavirus from 10 to 5 days and similarly shorten the time. Close contacts need to quarantine. I can't believe that's still a fucking thing either. Oh my God, you were close to somebody. Make sure you get your make sure you get a negative test. You have to prove that you aren't one of the disease that's out there before you can integrate back into society. <gasps> One of them, one of them, Center for Disease Control and Prevention officials said the guidance is in keeping with the growing evidence that people uh, with the coronavirus are most infectious in the two days before and three days after symptoms develop. Oh, okay, cool. That's the science now. I remember back in the day when we used to think that this thing was um, so much more robust than just a airborne pathogen. Something that can be transmitted through little droplets in the air. It could be hiding around the corner. It could be stuck on a doorknob. It could just be aerosolized through the air. And it could just go from place to place through the fucking rain and the wind. Stupid shit. The decision was driven by the recent surge of COVID-19 cases propelled by the Omicron variant. Yeah, sure it was. Uh, just um, noting that it's um nothing really all that serious. Early research suggests Omicron may cause milder illnesses than earlier versions of the coronavirus. No shit. Every fucking study that's out there. Nothing is indicated that this is anything severe, okay? That there's new, more deadly uh, symptoms that manifest from the Omicron variant. But it's the most widespread, and there's so many cases that's out there, and people are just dropping left, right, and center with all of these positive tests. But how bad are they feeling? Oh, less we say about that, the better, right? The guidance comes as bars and restaurants across the countries are shuttering and reopening uh, due to COVID exposures. Eatery owners in multiple states, including New York, Texas, wait, this must be like an Austin thing. Minnesota, Indiana, and others notified their customers in recent days of closures related to positive cases and exposure. The Washington Post reported, oh, I'm sure... 
I'm sure they did their due diligence. In New York alone, uh, were proof of vaccination. Get this fucking old cunt off the screen. Not me. Uh, where proof of vaccination is required by diner workers, and it has for the past few months. So once again, they've really stemmed the tide, right? And the list of restaurant closures has already reached the double digits. Yep, so just effectively killing off small businesses. Congratulations, Bill. You're really doing a number on the way out the door. Last week, the agency loosened the rules that previously called on healthcare workers to stay out of work for 10 days if they test positive. Wow, because if you aren't just going to get fucking thrown out on your ass just because you don't want to get the fucking jab, don't worry. Oh, we're waiting for the Biden mandate to take effect. Well, we're waiting for the Supreme Court to take that up and hear arguments on it anyways. No, um, we just keep turfing people. And because we had to turf so many people, I remember this as well, or this as well, in New York as well, they had to call in the next national guard to help shit out so yeah um so now all of your double triple quadruple jabbed up people because yeah oh yeah we need to get the booster need to get the booster sure but yet you still have all these cases but the symptoms what are the symptoms what symptoms so yeah uh the agency said isolation time could be cut to five days or even fewer if the if <laughs> if there are uh, severe staffing shortages okay so all of these all of these um quarantines okay the lockdowns the isolation the stay-at-home orders that come from the cdc and all of these uh, bureaucratic entities that are out there this was all about um keeping people safe okay that was the front that was out there obviously but now uh, they're kind of letting the masks uh, masks let hopefully no karen comes around and starts yelling at you but now they're telling you that um, even if you are sick, but you know, if it's not that bad, now you can just go back to work because we really need the help out there. Okay, cool. It's almost like um, if we just continue to live with this, okay, this is kind of how we handle every other illness that's ever been out there. If you feel really bad, stay at home, okay? You don't need to spread it around, but if you're still functional, okay, if you have a little bit of a sniffle, okay, a couple of chills, maybe a little bit of a sore throat if you can plow through it you can probably do all right and that's the way that um i've carried myself in the workplace that's probably the way that you guys have carried yourself in the workplace this isn't new this isn't unique and this hasn't been any different since the fucking beginning of this thing because i don't know what variant i had back a, a shade over a year ago now at the end of november i was a little bit run down it was the, the, other than that that was about it okay and this was always something mild if you did catch it to begin with. Okay, I have some the family members who caught it and they caught a bad case of it. But are they in the best uh, shape or do they keep themselves in the same shape that I do? No. Okay, so everybody reacts to it differently. But on the whole, this was always a mild infection anyways. So all the fear mongering in my mind was never justified. So again, on one hand, where you have the loosening of restrictions on one hand by the cdc oh please just quarantine for five days so we can get all the healthcare workers back now you have fauci calling for domestic travel bans well of course you know what if the vaccine mandate gets struck down do you think biden's going to hesitate for one minute to try to exercise more power in another direction i don't think so white house covid19 advisor anthony fauci says the united states government should consider vaccine requirements for domestic air travel yeah Inter interstate travel okay yeah of course they believe that they can regulate that theoretically they should have jurisdiction over that but can they enforce it mm, i don't really know it's probably about as tenuous as that osha mandate is it rooted in law no we say it so we think that it's law currently the united states mandates that non-citizens coming into the country present proof of vaccination and a negative covid19 test within 24 hours of departure travelers who took the pfizer moderna or johnson and johnson roll of the dice i'm sorry vaccine as well as shots approved by the world World Health Organization are authorized to enter the United States under federal health guidance. But old Dr. Death said that those requirements should be expanded. If we're making a requirement for vaccination for people who get on planes who are coming into our country, uh, that's understandable, he told MSNBC. Does this on, on December 27th, so he was out there today. Oh yeah, I'd probably make up for uh, one of those uh, Sunday news shows that he had to skip out on. 
goddamn Boxing Day. You don't want to bring uh, more cases into the country. But if you're talking about requiring vaccination to get on a plane domestically, now that is just another one of the requirements that I think is reasonable to consider. And you should be consulting me. I am the science. Fauci didn't explain why he believes the requirement would be a reasonable one. Of course not. Why would it be reasonable? And they're not about reason, okay? It's about fucking control. And uh, he's probably going to be having a talk with the CDC. Why did you let them have a little bit back? We're supposed to be still fear-mongering on Omicron. We're trying to get the most mileage out of this that we can. Yeah, it's just not panning out anymore. A lot of people are fucking sick and tired of this bullshit, okay? Like, I'll just tell you again, like... I go. I don't go out very f much. We don't go out often, mostly because we get a fucking stupid vaccine passport here in Alberta, so I'm not allowed to go very many places because I don't have the jab. I don't intend on getting the jab, nor do I need the fucking jab. That's just me. You can make your own decision. Obviously, your fucking choice. But every time that I go to the store to get some food, I see more and more people, more uh, different types of people, not just like the rugged oil field types, okay, who aren't wearing masks in public. I seen uh, this Friday, when did I go? Yeah, just before the stores closed on Christmas Eve, went out there and I got my food for the week and seen about a 20 something year old, uh, the fine looking girl in a the brown trench coat, no mask whatsoever. So it's starting to permeate a bunch of different um, cultures. Well, not really cultures, but um, different people that are out there. You do love to see it. Mostly because I think uh, that whole uh, clock's a ticking in about two years time. Yeah, people are about fucking done with this stuff. So you know, people are starting to talk back. People are starting to snap back. People are starting to fucking fight back. And Hopefully that it just stays at that proper level right there. But with that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I should follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.